welcome back. I reached Katkudam at around 11:30 in the morning and took an auto to the hotel. The weather was pleasant and as soon as I checked into my room, there came a thunderstorm. Next morning I reached our pickup point at Katkudam railway station and met the other team members. Hey. <laughs> soon we left for Lohajang, the base camp for Rupkund. We reached Lohajang in the evening and this was the India Hikes Lodge. It was 4.30 am in the morning, our first day of the trek. We reached Wan by cabs where we started our trek from. After a few minutes of trek, we spotted these huge cypress trees. Hey guys, so we have stopped here at the gate of the Sri Siddhi Pratha Devta Mandir Barn. It's the village barn that we have started the trek from and all these trekkers are behind me. It's a great team and there are trekkers here as well. All the trekkers sitting down relaxing and yes, we'll be starting again soon. The chatter box is coming behind. The trail was pretty steep till Rankadhar and then it descended a little till Neel Ganga. This is a local uh, flour mill which is uh, called Bharat in the local language. If you see there is a turbine inside. Is <laughs> it It's a steep descent which will be a steep climb when we come back. Right Kripa? Yes. Kripa is here, a trek leader here. Hello. This is Rose. Hello. And she has been my trek mate or friend. Yeah. And she has been a very good company. Day one. Everyone is resting after a very steep descent. It was really tiring. Everyone is really tired and exhausted, including me. And they are also ascending. Are you tired? Are you tired? No? So after a very, very tiring steep descent, we have stopped at this Thaba. And for a refreshing surprise, we have Rhododendron juice. Wow. Rhododendron is a tree, if you don't know, and it has, you know, red colored flowers and the juice is from those flowers and it's delicious I'm telling you you have to try it mm. yum I'm enjoying my juice <laughs> It was a beautiful, dense forest. After a grueling three hours of steep climb, we finally reached our first campsite, Kheroli Patal. After relaxing for some time, we played some games. Our trek leader Krupa had some really interesting ones. This one's called as Krishna Hanuman. Krishna! Krishna! Hanuman! Hanuman! <laughs> Krishna! <laughs> Okay, we are leaving Kerali Patal now and it's, let me see, it's 8.05 am and we are all set and this whole team is behind me. Oh, yay! Kerali Patal, bye-bye. And see you, Bedni Bugyal. The initial trail was easy and gradual, but later it became very steep and exhausting. Mm -hmm. 
and suddenly the tree line was finished and we saw a clearing and that was the beautiful Ali Bugyal. Later we started for Bethi Bugyal. There was an initial steep climb and from there on it was gradual. After walking for a couple of hours, we reached a spot from where we could see the Bethi Bugyal campsite. Lunch at Bethi Bugyal, Rajma Chawal. Walking barefoot on the meadow grass was a total bliss. The campsite's location is really gorgeous. One can see Mount Trishul, Kali Dag and other peaks from there. However, the clouds gave us a real hard time. Next day was acclimatization day and we had an excursion to Bedni top plan. We are standing on this tree. This is the first time we have seen Bedni top plan. We have seen the first time 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 we have seen the the view from Bethi top is said to be amazing, but all these clouds gave us a real worry. Hey guys, so we reached the Bethi top and it started raining. We are in our ponchos, everyone. We were waiting for it to get clear. The clouds have surrounded everything. We have no view whatsoever. We are sitting on the top, but no view, nothing. So now shortly we are going to leave, head back to the camp and have lunch. And see if there's these clouds clear up and we get a view or something like that. So yeah, we came here for kind of nothing. Disappointed. Throws. That was Baby Top and we started descending down. We spotted Himalayan Griffin at the Bethany campsite. We saw two of them. So it started raining heavily after lunch and we were stuck in the activity tent. So we called for some special help. The rain finally stopped and the campsite looked ever so beautiful. And the evening came and we witnessed the most beautiful sunset ever. We could finally see Mount Tushul as well. Yay! Hey guys, it's morning and we are leaving from Bedni Bugyal. 
it has been raining all night and morning as well. Now it has finally stopped and it's drizzling. So we decided to move on to Pathanatoni, which is our next campsite. The trail to Pathar Natoni was fairly easy with some gradual ascents. We reached the Pathar Natoni campsite and it looked gorgeous. The combination of close mountains and meadows was amazing. saw yet another beautiful sunset. Hey guys, so we are leaving from uh, Pathanachani towards Bhagwa Basa and it's 8.30 in the morning. That's Aditya from Pune. <laughs> On route Bhagwa Basa, we saw the actual mad rush going towards Rupkun. Starting with a gradual ascent, the trail turns very steep till Kalu Vinayak Temple. Walking towards Bhagwa Basa campsite, we have just left behind the uh, Kevlam Vinayaka temple, which is otherwise known as Kalua Vinayak or Kalu Vinayak. And it's pretty foggy here and very cold as well. The trail from Kevlam Vinayak is pretty easy. It's a descent, but a rocky one. Soon we reach the spot which Bhagwa Basa is named after. It's a cave where the tiger or bagh in Hindi of Ma Parvati took shelter, Bagh ka bas, Bhagwa bas. It rained heavily as soon as we reached the campsite and when it stopped, the campsite looked beautiful. And around 4 p.m. there came a big hailstorm. There was hail everywhere and we couldn't stop ourselves from playing with it. Kalidak peak that was far away from Bedni was right in front of us here. And with the sun came out the full vibrant rainbow. Peaks like Nanda Kunti, Hathi Kura, Bandarpur were all hidden behind those clouds. We woke up at 2 a.m., tea at 2.30, 3 a.m. breakfast and 3.30 a.m. we left for the summit. It was 5.40 and we were just 20 minutes away from the summit. It was our last rest point and I loved the view around. Wish the clouds weren't there though, it could have been even amazing. Hey guys, I made it to the Rupkun and that's the Rupkun lake behind me and I'm so happy. It's 15,750 feet high and it's currently frozen. We cannot go down there, it's not allowed. So I'm standing on the top of the dome and yeah, Rupkun, yes! Some skeletal remains from the lake have been kept on display. There were long hair, a full lower half of the body, some of them still with tissues and muscles attached. At around 11.30 am, we were all set to leave Bhagwa Basa. We started our descent towards Pathar Nachani.
It rained incessantly at Pathai Machoni around 12.30 p.m. that turned the entire campsite into a swamp. Happy birthday to you! In our descent from Pathar Nachoni, we crossed Bethni Bugyal and from there, it started raining again. We reached Keroli Patal at around 11.30 am, had our lunch and were all set to finish the last lap of the trek. By this time, it was drizzling and still very misty. The trail was super slippery and we reached Wan in the evening and the trek ended there. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.